All right, this time I'm going to talk about SSH. Uh, I noticed someone was searching for my channel and searching for SSH videos, which I don't have shit right now for that. So I'm creating one here. Anyways, uh, what is SSH? Basically, it's a way to connect to a remote computer. Uh, you know, it can be like over the internet. Like, let's say you're at work or you're at school and you want to connect to your home computer. That's a possibility too. But for this one, we're just going to do it locally. So you know, just around uh, our house. So your computer, your other computer that you want to connect to it can be on a, a different computer, a different floor or something like that, all right? But it has to be locally, all right? Anyways, how do we do this? So for this example, I'm gonna use my virtual box and this will represent our second computer that we connected to, right? So on this computer, assuming you have like a Linux box or whatever, um, if you have like Debian slash Ubuntu, this is probably how you do it in here. So you want to go bust out your terminal and by default, if you do like aptitude search or something like that, by default, they should have the open SSH client install. Now you need to install the server also if you want to have uh, other people connect to this machine. Uh, in the virtual box here, right? You have to have the server, otherwise you can't connect to it without the server. So make sure you install this. So all you gotta do is like apt, what's that, sudo apt get uh, install or something like that, open SSH server, and then you hit the enter. Then you type in your password and it does its thing, all right? I already have it installed, so there's no point. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is get the IP uh, that your router gives out, okay? So to do that is if config, and uh, depending on what connection you know that the computer is connected to. So right now I'm using Ethernet, so that's why it says Etho zero here. If you're using like Wi-Fi, it should tell you like uh, uh, what's a WLAN zero or something like that, um, whatever it is that you have connected. So this one is using Ethernet uh, from the virtual box, whatever here. And this is the address that the router gives out, which is 192.168.1.102. So that's how we'll connect to it. Now you also need the username. So uh, most times they tell you right here on the side, like this is the username. But if you don't know, you wanna make sure you can always do echo dollar sign user, right? And then it tells you, okay, this is the username. And that's how we connect it. We just use this information and this, right? And also you need your password for this machine also, okay? Uh, so we're gonna open our terminal from my computer this time. And we're gonna do that here. I made this red so you can see the difference. So this is my computer and this is the second computer that we're connecting to. Uh, so all you gotta do is type in SSH the username, which is uh, oh yeah, LXDE, and then you type in at, and then you type in the IP, which is 192.168.1.102, right? So those are the two information, those are the username here, and the IP is this, right? That's all you gotta do, and then you hit enter, and the first time, you know, you connect to that computer, I'll tell you like a some bullshit where it tell you to type yes or no. Type in yes, okay, Y-E-S, push enter. And then it'll tell you to type in the password. So now we're typing the password for that computer. And that's all you gotta do. Uh, so I'm connected to this computer already. So you can see that, oh, this is the same username here that they have here, right? Same thing. I can confirm it if I wanna kill, let's say this terminal here, what is this one called? LX terminal, okay, I'll kill that sucker from here. P kill LX terminal, and there you go, I kill that from uh, my computer using SSH. Uh, so that's pretty much how SSH works. I mean, you can do some other stuff like transfer your files and stuff like that, but uh, that's for another video, I guess. And what else is there? Oh yeah, if you want to if you're actually using SSH, I would probably recommend you use uh, Tmux or screens with it. I only know how to use Tmux, so I, you know you can use screens also. It's the same thing basically. 
And once you're done, you know, you want to close the connection, you can type in exit. And now you're close the connection to that uh, server, right? So if you guys want to test this out on your computer using VirtualBox, uh, the thing is when you install your, um, you know, your Linux machine, you also want to make sure in VirtualBox, uh, you go to settings, whatever your, um, you know, your images, you go, uh, what's that, settings here? And in here, it says network. You want to make sure uh, it says bridge adapter, and then you want to set it to your uh, Ethernet or whatever it is you, you're connecting to. And then they'll assign an IP address for you that we used earlier. Okay. So that's it for that. Uh, hopefully, you know how to use SSH now. That was really basic. Maybe I'll do some more uh, in the future. Uh, that'll be it for this video. I'll 